How to Eat to Live, Book 2, by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Chapter 21, Do Not Eat Scavengers. Eat the best food you can obtain. Never deprive yourself of good health at the price of cheap food. Just remember, when you are feeding your stomach with cheap, poison foods, trying to keep a dollar in your pocket, you are not saving a dollar in your pocket. It will only go to the hospital, the undertaker, and for the ever-increasing drain on the family savings in purchasing drug pacifications for the ill body from eating the wrong food. There is not one of you who would not like to live a long, long time. That long time depends on what you eat and drink. So, eat and drink that which is good. Go to the farm and try raising your own food. Or, have collective farming. However, try seeking some of this earth that you can call your own and raise on it the necessities of life. And in this way, you may be able, if you can keep your lurking enemy from slipping poison into your good and innocent crops to grow pure food. We cannot blame the white man for his evils because by nature he was made like that. But we can blame ourselves for accepting such evil. I have received many questions in regard to meat, fish, and poultry that have not been mentioned. The main thing, Allah, as well as the Holy Quran, reminds us of is that when it comes to meat and fish, Allah forbids us to eat the flesh of a swine and a fish weighing over 50 pounds or even weighing 50 pounds. Some people will not even eat fish at all. There are many fish that we can eat, some even weighing as little as one or one and a half pounds. When eating fish, we should confine our fish eating to those fish weighing between one and 10 pounds. As I previously said on how to eat to live, do not eat the scavengers of the sea, such as oysters, crabs, clams, snails, shrimps, eels, and catfish. The fish last mentioned, catfish, is a very filthy fish. He loves filth and is the pig of the water. Some people write in complaining about the fish that swim on their sides, but these fish can be eaten. Allah has taught me that chicken is not good to eat. They are quite filthy inasmuch as they do not eat the cleanest of food, but we eat them. We eat beef and lamb. But Allah also said that it is not so good for us. It is not a sin for us to eat it. It is not a sin for us to eat camels. But if we can find better food, we should not eat the above mentioned food. Many write and ask if they should eat meat at all. It is not a sin for you to eat meat but it is a sin for you to eat the hog meat. If we want to prolong our lives, it is best that we not eat meat or do not eat it so often. Beef is very coarse and many of our people do not eat it because of that. Horse meat can also be eaten. It is cleaner than the average meat, but we should not eat it unless we are extremely hungry and have nothing else to eat.
because it is a domestic animal and is gentle and close to the home. It is not a sin to eat even rabbit. But since Allah said that the rabbit is so near kin to the house cat that they are relatives, we do not eat it. The rabbit, however, is cleaner than the house cat because he eats vegetables, roots, and herbs, and he does not eat anything alive. Purchase the books, CDs, and DVDs of the life-giving teachings at store.finalcall.com. Listen to the messages of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan 24-7 at finalcallradio.com. Watch the Nation of Islam's weekly and live broadcasts at NOI.org.